Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of requests on how I air dry my daughter's hair. So here is my baby and toddler air dry routine. So her hair has been freshly washed in deep condition and I'm using a towel on her hair. The towel's been sitting on for 10 minutes just because I don't like her hair to be soaking wet. So next I'm adding the Taylor Beauty Grow Thick Oil to her hair and I like to massage the oil into her scalp. The reason why I do this is because it allows the blood to circulate and when you have good blood circulation throughout the scalp, it promotes hair growth. There are other oils that also promote hair growth in this oil, that's why I love it so much. It also adds shine to the hair and it strengthens the hair for the detangling process. So next what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and section off the hair. I want to section off and bantu knot each section because I want her hair to still be damp. This is going to aid in the detangling process. So you guys ask all the time, does her hair shed? Yes, this is how much I got in that section. So next I'm adding the Taylor Beauty Everything Butter to her hair. This is going to be the next step because I'm doing the LOC method when I air dry her hair. So I'm adding a generous amount of the butter to her hair. Public service announcement, please be sure to follow Summer's Instagram page, Little Summer Erin. We appreciate all of your support. She loves it when I read her comments. Okay, now I'm back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay, so I'm just distributing the butter throughout her hair. And you want to keep adding butter as you go along because you want the hair to be so, so moisturized. So next what I do after I moisturize her hair is I braid it in sections. But before I do that, I make sure I detangle it really, really well. This is why I like to detangle while it's damp and while it has a lot of moisture and while it has a lot of product because it builds strength to the hair and it gives it more slip. You never want to detangle dry hair because what will happen is the hair will break. I've stated this a lot of times in my other videos, but I never comb her hair anytime in between our wash process. So the only time her hair touches a comb is while I'm detangling it, when she's getting her hair washed, and while I'm detangling it when it's air dry. In between washes, her hair does not touch a comb. So next what I do is I braid it. This is going to seal in all the moisture so that we can go on to the next step. The next step is going to be the styling process. And I usually do that the next day. Once I get about three quarters way through, what I do is I twist it. Now the reason why I twist it is because if I braid it all the way down, I will run out of strands to continue braiding. So I like to twist and I also like to twist because it prevents the hair from tangling at the ends. So in the back, her hair is a little more kinkier so I have to work a little bit more gentle when I get to this part of her hair. As you can see, she's really, really calm when I do her hair, and that's how you want your child to be. You want your child to be calm when you're doing their hair. You don't want them to be crying because it is traumatizing for them. So if they are crying, just be sure to be very, very gentle. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave questions below if you have any, and thanks for watching.